back at the deadly tornado outbreak a decade ago on November 17, 2013. Two tornadoes tore through parts of central Illinois, including Washington, which was the hardest hit. First Solar meteorologist Balan Salivari revisits the day with survivors and a first responder. November 17, 2013, a day many across central Illinois will never forget. I've got houses completely flattened and uh, a couple of people with injuries buried in debris. Ten years later, the memories from the historic day remain for many Washington residents like Joey Davidson. The family hid underneath a uh, utility sink. I kind of grabbed onto the utility sink since there wasn't any room for me and the ride began. Shortly after 11 a.m., parts of the city, including Davidson's home, took a direct hit from a massive half-mile-wide EF4 tornado. Debris piling up on us. I actually got sucked out of the house and set up on top of the debris while the family stayed underneath. It was surreal. The storm produced winds up to 190 miles per hour, forever changing the landscape. More than 600 homes in Washington were destroyed that day. 245 were injured and three were killed as a result of the tornado. It was just like a big mess, just something rotating real, uh, real fast, real violent. Washington Police Department officer Derek Thomas was on patrol that morning. He came face to face with the tornado only a few blocks down the road. It was chaotic. I mean, we were going house to house, spray painting houses that were already checked and saying, you know, no one was in here. Destruction could be seen for miles. Washington alone saw more than $800 million in damages. It was almost like we didn't know where we were at. We're used to seeing, you know, hey, turn right at the big tree or the pink house or whatever. After the tornado, that was all gone. Thomas believes the death toll may have been higher if the tornado hit later in the day. Everyone was at church, um, so the tornado went through basically a whole bunch of empty houses. Had it been a couple hours later, everyone watching the Bears game or whatever, it could have been a lot worse. It took 36 days to clean up all the debris. Days turned to years to build back the homes lost that November morning. Despite the devastation, the cleanup was a community effort that came to be known as Washington Strong. The people here, I mean, they really did solidify. They came together. It was truly someone who lost everything is still helping someone else across the street who also lost everything. Joey Davidson and his family were just one of the families to see everything lost that morning. But he, too, saw the same resilience from friends and those afar. It was challenging, but a lot of my friends came to the aid, and, you know, it was, it was nice. Even people I didn't know that were contractors or subcontractors, they, they wanted to help and, and be a part of it. Today, the Davidsons live on the same property where their old house once stood. The rebuild took more than a year. Over the last decade, new has since replaced old. The progress is here. People have stayed and people are really believing and funding into, into uh, Washington and its future. While some old landmarks were lost to the tornado, one thing remains still today. The strength of a city to rebuild and keep building. Washington strong. For 25 News, I'm First Alert Meteorologist Balance Lavari.